two, one. Okay, so hey, you like this getup? I don't know if you can see it as well. But anyway, I'm cleaning the barn today. And because it's been smoky outside and in here, oh my God, you should have seen what the floor looked like. It was dusty, cleaning out the stalls. I still got half a stall left to do. And then I wanted to get the spider webs all down and knocked out and being outside in the country, this is dusty. But anyhow, look at this. So what I wanted to share with you, as in the armor of God, we armor up. We protect ourselves. So me, being an asthmatic, have to protect my lungs. And that, not only the, the smoke really hasn't bothered me, but just the, uh, let's say, the dust. If I did not... If I did not wear anything over my mouth in here and it was as dusty as it was, I'd be in trouble. I, I, it'd see me in the hospital later. But anyhow, but putting on the armor, it was just reminding me about the armor of God. Putting on the whole armor. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to look. Maybe over there. But putting on the whole armor of God is the same thing, you know, about putting on the helmet of salvation. You got the word of God. Carrying the sword is also the word, you know, um... Then you got your breastplate and you got your, sh your shield and you got your, you shod your feet and all those things that God tells you to do in Ephesians. So go read Ephesians chapters one through six and it'll tell you, but think about it as, as such as just putting on this gator. I had this gator saved from, you know, 2019, 2020. And I'm like, where is it? I couldn't find it. I was like, oh my gosh, where is it? Where is it? I didn't wear it then because I wasn't afraid of what they were telling you to be afraid of, but we just bought them just in case. But knowing that I needed it and I knew where it was in a drawer, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot do this job without having my mask because I knew the protection it would give my lungs and that from the dust, because right now it's all sweaty, it's wet, the dust particles are not going to go through. Now, the spray from sickness and whatever, at during that time that's a whole nother story but anyhow but i knew it would keep my lungs safe from this stuff those particles but anyhow so and then i wore my sunglasses to protect my eyes so god is warning us and god's been telling us if you ever read exodus you should read exodus because it's kind of like what our government is today and everything that we'll, we will be going through and go, have been going through and that with Pharaoh and, and all that stuff. But it, if, or if you go on, be like a bumblebee and read what I've written so far, we're on chapter 11. So we went through all the plagues. We got one more and then, uh, Pharaoh's going to let the people go, but are not let the people go. Cause you know, the amazing thing is, is that God says, let my people go. And then Pharaoh says, Hmm, well maybe, but then after that, he goes, nah, not so much. And then he reneges on him, him thinking that he's going to let Pharaoh go. So then God comes back and he says, okay, I'm going to show you that I am God. I'm the God. And so then he shows him whatever he brought, the flies, the frogs, the blood water, the lice, the death of the cattle, the hail, the fire, and all that stuff. So you got to read Exodus for yourself because if you look, you know, God gives us each different angles to look at things. My angle is, is when I look at things, I have studied a lot of leadership and the different leaders of the world and Bill Gates when he wasn't a bad guy or maybe he was a nefarious bad guy, but I didn't see him as a bad guy then until his true colors came out. But as a leader and as someone who can influence people, he's done a very good job for being a garage, a garage uh, starter up of computers. And now he's pretty much leading the world from the back of the hands of the whatever alphabets that are out there. And then you see, then I studied like Trump before Trump was president and, and just other people, uh, Steve Jobs and just think where their leadership skills were. Um, uh, Mother Teresa, she was another one, but then there's some shit that comes out behind her too. So it's not always what you see up front. Um, but if you look at it and you can understand people, people are people. And they are the same yesterday as they are today as they will be in the future because people have people's nature. And God tells us that and God shows us that. So to understand where we're at and what's happening and what's going on, if we look at it through God's eyes, 
he gives us the clues right then and there. Okay, I'm going to keep this short because it's almost five minutes. Yep, we just hit the five minute mark, guys. But I'm going to put this on and uh, just remember, no matter what you're doing, armor up. Not only armor up to take care of yourself, and I'm not saying because other people might be sick around you to wear this. I mean, there's a certain time, a certain place to wear these things. And there's a certain time and place to take a stand and don't fall into their crap. But with that being said, Jesus loves you. I agape you. And uh, I'm going to put this on Bumblebee. Have a good day. Bye.